Hey now, metalheads, it's Black Metal Werewolf, finally making a brand new video. I know it's been about two months since I've uploaded my last video, so unfortunately, over the past few months, I really haven't been feeling myself. Uh, I was feeling very burnt out. Uh, essentially, I was going to work, dealing with all the bullshit there, coming home, trying to force myself to make YouTube videos that I just wasn't feeling. And it just went in a vicious cycle of burnout and getting angry and frustrated. So I felt that I need to kind of take a step away from the YouTube channel, take a vacation from work, and just focus on myself, make myself feel better. And thankfully, I feel a lot better now. I feel like myself, and I'm ready to get back on the horse and start making YouTube videos again. But no one really cares about that, so let's just get down to the topic of today's video. And that is, the exercising of metal demons. So when I say that, I obviously don't mean a legitimate exorcism being performed on someone to get the demons out of their body that are forcing them to listen to heavy metal even though that would be pretty damn funny. What I'm really talking about are the steps and actions that some people will take to get a family member, friend, student, whatever, to get them to stop listening to heavy metal music. Just from my own personal experience, when I was younger and first getting into heavy metal, so many people viewed it as me going through nothing more than a phase. I'm sure plenty of you have heard that many times in your lives. But of course, as the years went on and my love for metal grew, and so did my CD collection and uh, metal t-shirt collection, uh, there were people in my life who were legitimately worried and tried to get me to stop listening to metal. Uh, my parents, one of my brothers, a handful of teachers, ex-friends, uh, there was even a girl who showed romantic interest in me for some reason. Uh, at one point she even said it was either her or the music. And uh, at, even at that age, I was wise enough to know to go with the music. And looking back, that was definitely a bullet dodged. Going with the music was 100% the right choice over her. Uh, anyway, the point is, when I was younger, there were people actively trying to get me to stop listening to metal. And uh, I know it wasn't just a me thing. The reason why I wanted to make this video is because I've had fans of the channel, Metalheads, reach out to me and tell me their stories. Now, obviously, I'm not going to tell their stories, that's not my place to do, but I know there are people going through the same thing, that they have this gigantic love for this music, but there are teachers, parents, uh, classmates, uh, co-workers, actively trying to get them to stop. And you know, I totally understand. It can be really tough, especially for young metalheads. Just looking back at my life, the amount of like really good friends I lost who stopped associating with me simply because I was getting really into heavy metal. Like, from their perspective, I guess they didn't want to hang around the weird kid who was dressed in all black and you know obsessed with the, uh, the guys from Slayer and Rob Zombie. Um, I, 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 from the perspective of like a middle schooler, I can see where they're coming from. But seriously, who the fuck does that to a friend, right? Like that that's a messed up thing to do. Uh, even as I was thinking about this topic, I can never really understand why someone would do that so hardcore to uh, a student, a, a friend, a, a son or daughter. It's, it's really confusing. Like someone is showing enthusiasm for something and your first instinct is to fucking crush it. Right? Like, I remember, I still remember being in the 8th grade, just being totally in love with the music, being totally fascinated with it, the, the whole thing. And I had a teacher who was going out of his way to try to fucking crush it, just to destroy my spirit and the love of that music. And, it, you know, he wasn't worried about my immortal soul going to hell over it. The guy was just being a fucking dick. Like, I was a, a young kid enjoying something, and he just had to fucking try to take a shit on it. Like. Well, who does that to a kid? Seriously. Now, to be fair, I'm really not 100% sure how much of this goes on today, because the basis of this video, I'm really drawing on my own personal experience from my life from years and years ago. Like, I'm almost 30 now. Uh, this happened when I was like 12 and 13, right? So it's it's been a very, very long time. So I'm not really sure if this kind of behavior goes on with teachers, parents, friends, anything like that. And a lot of the people who have told me their stories were either around my age range or maybe even a bit older. So so maybe, for all I know, this could be really something from the past that I'm just kind of reminiscing on and seeing if uh, anybody else remembers it too. Uh, I certainly hope that it's not happening to this day. Um, I'm willing to bet that it still does happen. Maybe not to the extent that it happened to me and other people, but uh, it could very well be going on today. 
I think the best way I can really close out this video is just to any advice to any younger metalhead out there. If you are experiencing something like that, the best thing I can really say to you is just stay strong and don't compromise your integrity for other people. Uh, I, I understand, you know, when you're young, you, you're stuck in this bubble in your head that you think this is your entire life. It fucking isn't, uh, especially as you go through high school and graduate and you move on to bigger and better things in your life. You'd be surprised how quickly you lose contact with all of those people who are trying to bring you down and people like that aren't worth it. If they're your friends and they're, and they're disrespecting you like that, dude, they don't like you and you shouldn't like them. Someone who treats you that poorly, don't associate with people like that. If some chick is uh, telling you not to, you, she won't date you because you lessened a metal, well, fucker, you'll meet other people later in your life who will like you for the things you like, who will appreciate your love for it, and will, you know, be a part of it with you and not try to stomp on it. Same with girls, if there's some guy in your life doing that to you too, you know, those people ain't fucking worth it. That teacher that's giving you a hard time, you, you won't see him soon. You'll be gone. Just, you, you think of your life as you're on a road. Right now, you're just unfortunately at a stop sign. There's a lot more road going ahead, so just hit the gas and keep on going. So that's all I have to say on this subject, but now, of course, I want to get your guys' opinion on all of this. When you were younger, were there people in your life actively trying to get you to stop listening to metal? And if so, what were they doing and what do you think their reasoning was behind it? Or do you think this is not really an existent problem anymore? Regardless of your opinion, please leave me a comment letting me know what you guys think of all this. And now, like my past videos, I either do an album recommendation or an album warning, and today is another recommendation. The band is Temple of Void, the album is Summoning the Slayer. I had a friend suggest this band to me, and as soon as I listened to them, I immediately fell in love, and thankfully this album had just came out when I started hearing about them. Uh, my personal favorite tracks on the album are Death Touch and Hex, Curse, and Conjuration. Definitely a solid album, and I think you guys will really like it. So check it out. That is Temple of Void, Summoning the Slayer. So that's it for today's video. If you guys like what you saw, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment letting me know what you thought of today's video, checking out some of my past videos, and sharing them with a few of your friends while you're at it. If you'd like to keep up with me on a more daily basis, you can follow me on Facebook and on Instagram. I also have a P.O. box open. All that info is down in the description. I also have patches for sale, so if you would like to get your very own, you can click right over here. There's also a link down in the description. Overall, thank you very much for watching, guys, and don't forget to stay brutal.